Hi everyone, Donut here. Let's do a Leo recap, but first a word from my sponsor, Dude Bag. A Dude Bag is a monthly subscription service handpicked by veterans and it has a bunch of cool hunting, fishing, camping, and backpacking stuff in it. If you order the quarterly membership and use the code Donut, you get a $200 Delco knife. They also have the Pop Dude Bag, which contains practical gear and collectibles from your favorite movies. Last month, they did John Wick. So I got some John Wick coins, a cool John Wick knife, a trauma kit, a bunch of lock picks, some whiskey stones and glasses, and a bunch of other cool stuff. This month, they're going to be doing Mad Max, so jump on that one quick before it's all gone. Remember, just use the code DONUT or click the link in the description below. And on with the video. Welcome to a Leo recap. It's been a while. We're going to start this video off with a little update about some of the officers who were involved in the U.S. Capitol building riots last month. I made a couple of videos about the whole debacle and how Matt Best was involved. In those videos, we took a look at some of the craziest moments caught on camera. Two of the craziest moments were the videos of the officer being crushed in the door and the officer being dragged out into the crowd and beaten with a flagpole. The NFL isn't my favorite organization ever, especially since they honored a guy who shot at police and got smoked for it not too long ago. Remember that whole Sean Reed thing? Yeah, oopsie NFL. But at least they got something right at the Super Bowl last Sunday. They invited Officer Mike Fanon, who is the officer that was dragged out into the crowd, Officer Daniel Hodges, who was crushed by the door, and Officer Lila Morris to the Super Bowl and honored them live on air. In addition to the three officers honored at the Super Bowl, Officer Brian Sicknick's family was invited. The NFL still kind of sucks, but that was very nice of you. Speaking of the NFL, I'm sure you all saw it also. That one dude that got annihilated by the police officer after streaking onto the field. That officer was identified as Deputy Clint Stearns, a former quarterback of a local high school. Up next, do you remember the Watch Me Whip, Watch Me Nay Nay song that went viral on YouTube a couple of years ago with nearly 2 billion views? Well, the creator of that song just got charged with murder for shooting and killing his cousin in Georgia. While that is shocking, I believe another shocking thing to come out of this entire situation is how much New Zealand papers do not give a f the New Zealand Herald reported last week, watch me whip, watch me nay nay, watch me allegedly shoot my cousin in the street and be arrested for his murder. Oof. Next up, a security camera caught a scene straight out of the movie Jack Reacher. I have no idea where this took place at, but it looks like police are chasing a dude. He's going at least 45, 50 miles an hour, and he just steps out of the car and walks off. I've tried to use the Google box to figure out more information about that one with no success. Up next, you'll never believe it, a Florida man was arrested for being a Florida man, doing Florida man stuff, doing Florida man shit with his friends. The Florida man. 22 year old Matthew Lethem was arrested Sunday morning after he called 911 twice to find a ride home. Then he cursed at the dispatcher. An officer offered him a taxi, but he said he didn't have money and began walking home. But then he called 911 a second time and was arrested and charged with misuse of the 911 system as well as possession of the devil's lettuce. Next up sounds like Florida man, but California man can be just as kooky sometimes. A man with no mask walked into Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in Pasadena and they said, hey, no mask, no chicken and waffles, my dude. He pulled out his mask and put it on and was served chicken and waffles. Just kidding. He walked to the back of the restaurant, pulled out a gun and demanded chicken and waffles. I like how he racked the gun and not the slide. They gave him some chicken and waffles and he stormed out of the restaurant and is still on the run. Police have not caught this unmasked bandit. All right, let's play a game. Florida man or not Florida man? This guy stole a burrito, put it in his pants, tried to fight the clerk and then fought police when they showed up. Give you a minute. Florida man, not Florida man. What do you think? Iowa man. Let's try it again. A guy stole 10 pints of ice cream, ran from police, and got stuck trying to climb a building where police had to rescue him. Huh? Huh? Hmm? New York man. Florida man better step up his game this week. Six people were arrested after changing the Hollywood sign to Holly Boob. Boobs. Nice. The six people turned out to be from the YouTube channel, The Juke Squad. They were arrested without incident and charged with misdemeanor trespassing. Next up, people are still not learning their lesson when it comes to destroying federal property in Portland, so I think the federal officers have stepped up their game a little bit. While they have been using classics such as rubber bullets, pepper balls, flashbangs, and bear mace, it looks like they now have access to the Get F***ing 
Electron 9000. Looks like this nifty little device spits out a ridiculous amount of tear gas at the people who think that they can just, you know, destroy federal property for over 150 days. Guess what we just had the anniversary of recently? That's right, you guessed correctly, this tweet from the San Miguel Sheriff's Department. On January 27th, 2020, the San Miguel Sheriff's Department tweeted out, large boulder the size of a small boulder is completely blocking eastbound lane highway 145. the other day they followed the tweet up with a large boulder the size of a large boulder is blocking the southbound lane highway 145. for our next story i just want to give a shout out to mr kodak black imagine if 10 years ago someone said this to you rapper kodak black who was recently pardoned from prison by president donald trump has agreed to pay the college tuition of the children of two slain FBI agents. You would think they were a crazy person, but this exact thing just happened last week. FBI Special Agents Lauren Schwarzenberger and Daniel Alfin were both shot and killed while investigating child crimes. Kodak Black, whose real name is Bill Capri, had been in prison on weapons charges when former President Donald Trump commuted his 46-month sentence just before leaving office. That's pretty rad, Mr. Black. Thank you. Well, everyone, that's all I have for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please check out Dude Bag. The link is going to be in the description below. I'm going to be over at twitch.tv slash donut operator. As soon as this video is released, please come hang out. Probably going to be playing some video games or something, but I'd love to see y'all. Other than that, have a fantastic day.